Hi, good morning from here in the jungles of Guayaramarín in Bolivia. We're here at our uh, industrial school on the border of Brazil and Bolivia. Up north, it's uh, one of our uh, most efficient schools in producing missionaries. And I have with me today uh, Sarah Ross. And this is a very interesting story Sarah has. She and her sister, uh, Helen, came to work in Bolivia. And uh, Sarah, I want to ask you a couple of questions because uh, a lot of people consider mission service, and yet you're here working for some years now. I was able to go to the wedding. I did the wedding for your sister and uh, one of our pilots uh, up in Canada. And you grew up in an area of Canada way out and isolated as well. Tell us about your background in Canada before we talk about here. Okay. Yeah, I come from up north in Canada, up near Dawson Creek, which is very, very different from here. Lots of snow, about eight months almost of snow and ice. and. We were raised on a farm, growing up milking cows and all that sort of stuff. And in a, um, in a log cabin. Uh, in a log house, yeah, yeah, both. My dad made it. When I went up there, there was uh, you're off the grid, living uh, without the dependence on electricity. You can do that for many, many years. Yeah. And then, so uh, for those that have experienced living out on the land, uh, it made this kind of life a little easier than oh. those that come from a big city with everything. Absolutely, yeah. We, we washed with a little washing machine that just turned the clothes, right? And then we hung them out on the line. We had wood stove, wood heat, and solar power as well. So the change wasn't all that much different. When I was there, it was about 30 below zero. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get a shower, so they put some hot wa they put some water on the stove. They heated up the water, and I took a bucket of water to the, <laughs> to the, to the shower and got, and got my bath. <laughs> That's the way we do it. <laughs> Okay, so you and your sister Helen decided to come. How did you end up in Bolivia? Well, I've always wanted to be a missionary. I always wanted to be a missionary nurse. And when I was growing up, a friend of mine, Melissa Harding, uh, told me that she was starting an orphanage. She's Canadian too. She's can sort of half Canadian, okay. half, <laughs> half Bolivian, half from but the she, States. But, she, but she's from Canada originally, right? I think so. Yeah, they she, live up in Canada. Yeah, they keep okay. coming back anyway. Okay. <laughs> and she, she said, when you're done school, come. And I, I was studying for nursing, I took the prereqs for nursing, and then I decided to go for six months while there was a break to the orphanage where she was in, in Ronabaki here in Bolivia, and I went for six months and in, ended up staying two years. Yeah. And, and during that period of service, you realized how important nursing was yeah. to finish, and you went back for a while and you finished up. I did, yeah. I realized while I was here that God is real that he works in people's lives and that he wanted to be working in my life. Before I, I went to church, we were Christians growing up Adventists, but um, the relationship with God wasn't really real. I didn't have that experience with him that I needed to have. And while I was in Bolivia, I, I decided that, you know, God is real. He provides for my needs. He looks after me very well. And I, want, I wanted to give my life to him, so. Well, you, you moved here to the school from after you came back. Uh, you found uh, a need here at the industrial school. Uh, this whole state had no school at the time. The mission president asked me to please uh, work on it and the village donated us some significant land and then we had another piece we added to it and uh, you have ended up here and we're standing in front of your little house. Uh, you didn't have a place of your own but you decided if I'm going to stay here and I know how to build houses, I know how to live out. You built this little place and it's still being finished but uh, this is where you live. Yeah, this is where I live. It was going to be a, a tool shed and it was sitting out in the middle of the jungle. The trees were growing inside it. And before I was living with a family with six kids and three chickens in the house, and I need my sleep at night, <laughs> and I wasn't getting it. So I said, I'm going to move out to that tool shed. <laughs> so we put a roof on it, and little by little, it's getting fixed up. I have some really pretty flowers, which makes it nice, even though it's yeah, not yeah, Behind us, we have the, you already are making it with the bamboo. It's very beautiful. Mm, now, so. uh, what do you do here at the industrial school? What is your responsibility, Sarah? Okay, I came thinking I was going to be the school nurse and teaching some biology, maybe some music, and I ended up being put straight into the office as director of education. Didn't even know what that was, <laughs> but little by little I'm learning and God is helping me do that job, as well as teach classes and partly girls dean sometimes. and. Help out wherever, no kitchen. So basically registrar's work and academic dean type yeah. work yeah. and plus teaching. Yeah, a little bit of everything. What, what would be your recommendation to other young people that uh, are considering getting a job, uh, just working in a normal world or, or the possibility of serving as missionaries? Oh man, there are so many benefits to being a missionary. Lots of times we don't have money, lots of times we don't have the resources we need and sometimes it's frustrating because you don't feel appreciated, you don't feel like 
you can be independent, but God has provided everything that we need. And the best thing is that He's preparing us for heaven and He's changing our characters and He's giving us more skills than we would ever get anywhere else. And I'm a nurse and I would like to go home and work and have my little money and, you know, be a little more independent, get what I want and do what I want. But um, I've seen out here that that working for God is so much better. It gives you satisfaction and it gives you what you need and it also makes you more close to God and to, to serving other people. So the benefits are spiritual. Are there physical benefits also? Um, do I look young? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I know that he's look, looked after us and kept us healthy. There's, there's malaria, there's dengue. I've got dengue once, but there's a lot of things out here that could make us really sick. But, and the food is not really a lot of variety. There's lots of rice and beans, so sometimes we suffer from a little bit of malnutrition. But I, I can't say that it would be any better anywhere else. Okay, uh, you, you, you're smiling a lot. Uh, when I see you, you're always smiling. In spite of all the tears sometimes and the difficulties, are you happy? I'm happy. No, I love being here. Not so much for the place, for the bugs and the heat and everything, you know, but and there's challenges with the language and and with working with people there's always challenges, you know, but I, I love working the, with these kids. It's it's really fun. And you see the change even even just a little bit of change sometimes and it really inspires you to keep going. So your job satisfaction is watching change lives. Yes. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, th this is Sarah Ross and she's from Canada. Uh, she's partly Bolivian now, after having worked here for a while, and and uh, now you have a little Bolivian. Uh, you have little Bolivian nephews. Yeah, and little, one one here and one on the way. One on the way. Yeah, so little white ones. Uh, there's little Bolivians coming along the way. <laughs> <coughs> this is the way we make more missionaries. Uh, if you're interested in serving in the mission field, it will be a life-changing experience, especially the spiritually, and it'll make a difference in many lives. And I would not do anything else. Sometimes there's tears, difficulties. Uh, there's physical challenges, but this is what we need for the future. The future is bringing some very big challenges, and those that learn these lessons of dependence on God will already be a step ahead in learning how to trust God, because once you've gone through this experience, your trust level goes way up. Mm -hmm. So I encourage you, if you consider it, if you finish school or halfway through school, but if you're considering having a term of service to learn these lessons, be a missionary. Be a volunteer missionary, and God will greatly bless you, and you will find that others will be blessed as well. We look forward to working with you. Let us know. GMIvolunteers.org. You can apply on GMIvolunteers.org, and we'll have a place for you. Ninety countries need workers, and there's a place for you. God bless.